Hey, chess friends, welcome back. Another day of the grind. Playing as black. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna play my new favorite opening as black. The Karo Khan. I'm enjoying this opening. I'm really enjoying this opening against uh, E4 from white. I think I've been having a decent success with it. So I don't know all the lines and all the theory yet, but uh, I think that's okay. I think that's okay. The only one issue that I have with the Karokan is that I feel like it gets a really late castle since it seems like it kind of encourages you to play your queenside pieces first. Um, so that's the only one issue that I have. But probably just studying the lines would fix that. But um, who's got time for all that, right? <laughs> I always could have just moved the bishop back, but I'd rather just develop a piece. Um, just protect the bishop. I think he's in an okay place for now. Seems fine. This opens up the diagonals as well. Um, kind of an option to trade, but he takes with the queen. So I don't love that. I would almost rather just play a central move. I need to remember that I only have one defender on d5. I could either go c5 or d6. I'm not quite sure what the right response is here. I like d6 because it's a central move. I like c6. Because it sort of just puts the bishop a little bit further. I'll just play the central move and play safe. Uh, eventually I want to figure out how to harass his bishop since it's um, sort of pinning my knight here. It's a bit annoying. And now he has the attack on the bishop here, so... I'm fine to just move back. Hmm. wonder how we defend against this. So he has the pawn. It's a bit of a double attack, so I wonder if there's any way that I can protect this. I might have to just get my queen out. To c7. I'm just looking if, um, I'm looking to see if there's any other moves that I can make that will threaten his queen or threaten his bishop. I'm not seeing them at the moment. So queen c7 seems okay. Also, he has no defenders on c4. <laughs> yeah, it actually has... Um, no defenders for a4 and c4. Um, this seems okay. So unfortunately, he does win the pawn here. Kind of have to take this. He does get the pawn too.
Hmm. Do need to protect that, and this pin is still really annoying. Um, let's see. Queen b8 seems like the only idea. Oh no, I can't take queen b8 because then he just uh he wins the knight. Hmm. I'm in a little bit of hot water here. Let me think. I can't just give up the rook. Yeah, what's the play here? No, I can't just attack. Can't attack his queen. I don't have any way to protect. Hmm. Yeah, really unfortunate position. Hmm. I'm going to spend way more time here than I need, but... And then I don't want to lose this rook in the process as well. Maybe I just have to add another defender to d7. Maybe that's just the only thing I can do here. And just say goodbye to my pawn. Yeah, I really just want to get rid of this fork. I do have a really nice move. Knight c5. Um, it's just unfortunate that my, my knight has been pinned for so long. I probably should have pressured his bishop earlier, I think. Kind of re regretting not doing that. I need to treat these uh, pins a bit more seriously, if you will. Yeah, so I figured that was going to happen. I'll go f6 just so I can add another, yet another defender to d7. And after this, I'll have the castle. I know I am down two pawns, but I do still feel like um, I'm in the better position. That move really does what he wants it to do. So I should be winning the bishop here. Also, his g2 square is very exposed. Hmm. That's not the fork I was looking for, actually. Forget everything I said about that knight fork. <laughs> That's null and void at this point. I wasn't really paying attention. Forgive me, forgive me. He has b5, probably his only viable move. I'm surprised he didn't go for that. Hmm. Do I really want to take this, though? That's the question. I want to pressure his queen more. That's really what I'd like to do.
Hmm. I feel like I have a lot of really good moves. I'm just going to pressure his queen. Um, he has his queen on my sort of second or seventh rank, however you want to look at it. And uh, it's really annoying, and I really shouldn't have done that. That was a fail. That was a blunder. Obviously, that was a blunder. Sorry, boys. I'm not playing very good this game. It's okay, I'm going to try to turn it around. Um, Even though this looks a little bit grim, I'm kind of confident that we can turn it around just because uh, his pieces, I feel like, are just not in a great spot. He has uh, essentially four of his pieces still more or less undeveloped. I mean, his knight is his most active piece, but his queen is sort of just out here floating. So I would like to try and take advantage of that somehow. think yeah, his queen is just going to be so annoying i want to get rid of the two defenders here not the two defenders i want to get this knight sort of away from defending these two squares that's kind of what i'm trying to say I maybe could have done something to sort of orchestrate uh, a mate with the queen and the bishop here. Um, just not exactly sure where that would be. Sure. Still can't. Still can't get these pawns. I feel like this game is just harder than it needs to be for some reason. I do have a really sick fork. If I could get my knight over here, but then again, it's just, it's doubly protected. So that's a bit frustrating. I do. Trying to find the play, guys. Trying to find the play. Why is this position so difficult to me? I know there has to be something really simple I'm overlooking, but... How do we deal with this? No, I don't want to push that pawn up.
I need to figure out where this game went wrong. Didn't it start off by losing two pawns and then it kind of went downhill from there? Okay, I feel like this is actually good for me in a weird way. Do I take that? I don't think I can... I don't think it's a good idea to trade off that knight at the moment. Okay, what's the idea? What's the idea? Where do we go from here? Man, I just desperately wish I could give him checks somehow, but... And if I could even just get one of my knights over here onto like h4, I could just go for the win. He does have a really nasty move if he moves his rook over to e5. What's more valuable here, the knight? The knight or the bishop, I'm almost willing to just sacrifice one of these to tell you the truth. Start going for the checks. Hmm. I think it might be easier with the knight. Maybe I just have him, maybe I just let him have the bishop, I can always retake with the knight. Kind of looking for this move, like d4, or a uh, d3, g3. I'm... Gonna do something slightly unorthodox here.
I want to just slowly pressure him. And I think if I can get the knight onto g4, there's a possibility to win here. I know it removes a defender here, but um, I feel like this is just going to be my only hope. Now I should just have mate on the next move. He would basically just have to push his pawn up. Even then, um, I believe I can still just win. He'll have to push his pawn. Um, or add a defender to f2. Yeah, he has to defend f2. So he has options. I mean, well, he does have a lot of options. He can put his bishop out. Yeah, okay. That's probably the best move there. Um, so obviously that's defended by the knight. I'm just going to keep looking for the checks here. This may force him over to f1. Then I always do have a uh, knight to h2. It's going to be really tough to win. Okay. Well, I do have a check this way. Well, I didn't actually realize that was mate. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that was mate. <laughs> So the, the knight's defending the king's escape squares. And then the queen um, protects the back rank too, or attacks the back rank. So I would say uh, GG, but uh, GG Among Us 07 from Italy. But uh, from my perspective, that wasn't a very good game. I feel like I just made too many mistakes and let the opponent just capture too many pieces um or just get too much of a material advantage um so i was kind of forced to play in a way that i didn't really want to which was kind of hyper aggressive um i don't typically do the best when i play hyper aggressively but it looks like the advantage sort of swung with one move well, well, it looks like it swung with two moves. So this was a really big blunder from his part. This, this okay, and actually before I even read this, I made a, just a really big mental fart when I thought knight c5 was forking the queen and the bishop. I don't know if maybe some early onset dementia kicked in or something, but um, I was just so fixed on the idea of the fork that I sort of failed to realize the actual position of the board. <laughs> so that's my bad. But it looked like the engine thought it was okay. So why is F4 blunder? This allows the opponent to win material through an eventual discovered attack. Okay, well, we all know that it didn't uh, play out that way. So <laughs> maybe it wasn't too big of a blunder. This is a good move. Ah, right. I should have noticed this so er so much earlier. Um, 
that I had the rooks connected. I could have attacked this queen so much earlier. Why didn't I just do that? And then that would have um, attacked the bishop as well. I, I don't know how I was missing that for so long. Hmm. I think I was just sort of in my head a little bit too much there. Because um, wouldn't his queen just be trapped? Um, okay, so let's just... Okay, so he played castle. So if I were to move here, queen takes. So his queen is just trapped here, right? Yeah, his queen has nowhere to go. So this was just a ween, uh, a ween, a win on the queen. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that's just that's just a really big brain fart. Um, I I should have noticed that. That's a really amateur mistake. Right. So I had a huge advantage here, and then I threw it away with this attack here. Yeah, really bad move here. Should have noticed that. Um. A little bit frustrated at myself for that. That was a trapped queen. Um, okay, never do it again. Make a note, never do it again. And obviously that was just attacked by the bishop too. So um, yeah, really bad string of moves here for me. Uh, I'm surprised the game ended up the way it did, considering how I was playing in the mid game here. Not my best performance. Okay, yeah, so the Hail Mary moves started coming out here. Um, and in most normal circumstances, I would never, uh, I would never just uh, lose a bishop to a pawn, but it just seemed like there was a possibility to find mate eventually with some kind of pattern. Yeah, I wanted to get my knight uh, as close to the queen so they could work together to find mate. He had the right idea here, protecting f2. And then, yeah, he just threw it away. So what could he have done instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Yeah, king f1 would have been a really good move, huh? Hmm. Is it though? Hmm. Yeah. For him to sack the rook there, that probably would have been the best move because now um, I have no pieces to support my queen, so there's really no way that I would have been able to find check. Um, so that was probably the play. He was up enough material. Um, to justify that. And my queen would have just been doing uh, sort of useless checks here. So, yeah, good game, Among Us 07. Um, not the game that I'm the, the most proud of, but it's a win nonetheless. And then on top of that, this is also the highest ELO that I've been. 751. This is a new all time high for me. Um, let me check out my stats. And yeah, this is my new house highest rating. So I'm happy about that. Um, that's awesome. I've been stuck at sort of the low 700s for a really long time. So maybe I'm finally going to break out. We'll see. I don't want to get too confident or anything. But anyways, thanks guys for watching. And uh, yeah, see you guys later.